We're pleased to have uh, Susan Moran Palmer, Democratic candidate of the 16th Congressional District. Uh, for those of us who uh, follow politics day in, day out, you were a surprise victor in the Democratic uh, primary. And um, it's going to be a surprise again in the general election. <laughs> <laughs> what uh, what uh, candidate, Palmer, do you, is your pa uh, pathway to victory in November? It's the same pathway I took in the primary. I hit over 200 events in three months, uh, getting out in front of the people, talking to the people. Uh, I'm a moderate. I am my district. I'm a reflection of this district. Been here 20 years. Worked with every hospital in every part of the district. So I know it well. And, and being from that district matters to voters. Your opponent, uh, Anthony Gonzalez, the Republican, it seems to be following um, a Republican pattern in some parts of the country, uh, kind of an absentee uh, candidate. Is that an advantage or disadvantage for uh, Susan Palmer? I think it's an advantage. You have to be able to get out there and talk to people and talk about your beliefs and, and be comfortable in that environment. If you never debate how you're ever going to stand on your toes in Congress, you have to be able to react and act for your constituents in their best interest. And you have to be able to handle the give and take that comes with debates. If elected, uh, you know, one of the hot button issues, at least from the Republican perspective, uh, would be, well, Susan Palmer will vote for Nancy Pelosi to be Speaker of the House. Uh, you want to take a position on that tonight? I actually think for both parties it's time for a new generation. Uh, no offense, uh, my, you know, my parents are in their 80s, but I think it's time for a new generation of leaders for both parties to move our country forward. Now, in your opening uh, remarks tonight, uh, you um, commented on um, uh, Republicans in this district, and this is um, decidedly Republican index district. Sure. Uh, are uh, interested in uh, Democrat Susan Moran Palmer. Why do you think that is? Well, I, I grew up in Youngstown, so I am, we're cheap. <laughs> I am fiscally conservative, and when you talk to many moderate Republicans, their main concern is fiscal accountability. Uh, and that part of their party is gone. There is no fiscal accountability anymore. And they're looking for people to have the right answers on that subject. Everyone is concerned about the overspending in the United States. We can't perpetually be in debt. We're leaving this to our children and our grandchildren. It's not acceptable. Okay. And um, uh, uh, Larry Sabato's um, polling organization out of the University of Virginia has listed the 16th Congressional District as in your words, doable for a Democrat. Um, do you agree with that assessment? And what is the basis of your agreement with that assessment? Well, a couple things. Uh, first off, we're what uh, Michael Bloomberg calls a bedroom community district. Uh, there's a lot of well-off suburbs and then one l large rural area, a farming community in Wayne County. Uh, and oddly enough, those areas are not supportive of the presidential administration. The, the Wayne County is getting hit with tariffs harder than I could ever tell you. On top of the tariffs on soybeans and corn, uh, they're getting jerked around by the Chinese. They'll, they'll order on Monday. A nasty tweet about China will come out on Tuesday. Soybeans will drop 8% on Wednesday. And they cancel the first order and put in a second order. So there's a lot of disgust in Wayne County. They know they're being leveraged for the president to get leverage using their income, which is awful. Uh, and then the bedroom communities, you know, this we have a highly educated district. We have the third wealthiest district in the state. Uh, so these are people I consider moderate Republicans, like my husband, uh, who are fiscally conservative, but socially somewhere between it's none of your business and liberal. And so part of your campaign uh, plan to uh, burden uh, your opponent uh, down with uh, President Donald J. Trump? You know, I, I, I don't attack Trump voters. My brother-in-law, my boss, both voted for Trump. These are two men I love and respect, and they're friends. You know, um, it, it's not about abusing the president. It's about the policies. I really have trouble with many of his policies. I, I don't like his immigration And you think policies. voters share that? I do. 
I do think at least in the 16th district yes. Republican voters I, I, th I think voters in general remember the Republican Party is shrinking so uh, the Republican Party used to be 35 percent now they're somewhere around 20 percent so when you pull just Republicans it's a small group of people it, it doesn't mean that they aren't open to other candidates they're looking many Republicans are out looking I've got lots of donation checks from Republicans in this district they are looking for the answer and they don't think it's an outsider who hasn't lived here in 11 years is there any chance that there is uh, going to be a Gonzalez Palmer debate? I would love it. Um, I've already had the League of Women Voters set, set up a debate uh, in Westlake, actually, at the library. Uh, I have accepted at this point. They have not gotten an acceptance from Mr. Gonzalez. Okay. Well, thank you, Susan Moran Palmer, candidate for the 16th congressional district. Thank you.